So you're worried about the theory part of your driving test. Let's say that for whatever reason you haven't had a chance to look over the theory and road signs for the driving test. And you're starting to feel a little bit stressed about that. Well, that's what this video is about, to alleviate that pressure and stress that you might be feeling, because I'm going to go through some of the most important road signs that you need to know and I'll also cover some of the more common theory questions that the driving examiner may ask you at the start of your driving test. So let's get started. So sign number one here is no entry, no entry to vehicles. Sign number two is hospital, hospital ahead. Number three, pedestrianized street or pedestrianized zone. Number four, a clear way. This is the sign for a clear way. Number five, is a level crossing guarded by gates or barriers. Number six, is the rural speed limit sign saying that the maximum speed limit is 80 kilometers. Number seven, this is the start of obstruction or the road divides. Number eight, a dead end, cul-de-sac or no true road. Number nine is a flagman, a flagman or manual traffic controls up ahead. Number 10 is advanced warning of a stop sign up ahead. Advanced warning for a stop sign. Number 11 is advanced warning of a yield sign up ahead. Advanced warning of a yield junction. Number 12, T-junction ahead with a dual carriageway. T-junction with dual carriageway. Now let's move on to some of the more common theory questions that you could be asked. And let's start here. When can you overtake on the left? You can overtake on the left when the driver in front has moved out and is signalling to turn right. You can also overtake on the left when you want to turn left up ahead and you have indicated to do so. And you can overtake on the left in multi-lane traffic when the right lane is moving slower than the left lane. This could be in an urban area like on a one-way street when there's, when there's two lanes going the one way. Next question, what's the rule with the yellow box? Do not enter the yellow box unless you can clear it. The exception is when you're turning right, like at traffic lights, for example. And also on the yellow box, sometimes the tester might phrase it by saying, when are you allowed to enter the yellow box? Or they might say, what's the exception for stopping in a yellow box? So just be aware of that. Just be prepared for the different ways in which they might phrase a yellow box question. Next, what is a clearway? No parking or stopping during the time shown. The area must be kept clear for moving traffic. How would you know a zebra crossing at night? Because of the flashing amber lights and beacons. Next question. What does an amber traffic light mean? This means you must stop unless you are too close to stop safely. Now I'm sure you can appreciate that if you want to do well on the theory and road science part of your driving test, then you need to plan, prepare and study. Because what I've covered in this video is really only a few of the questions and road signs that you need to know. Remember, this is just an emergency backup, just in case you haven't done any preparation for the theory. But with that in mind, please remember that the theory part of the driving test is only a very small part of the test overall. The most you can lose is one grade two mark. So try not to get too worried or stressed about it because it's really not worth it. The most important thing is how you drive on the day of your driving test. You're gonna find some more recommendations in the description for more great videos to watch and a few recommendations up here as well. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll be back very soon with another video. Slongafall.